guys, and welcome to part two of opening fidget packages from my favorite fidget creators who also own fidget stores. That's a lot of fidgets. You and I till the end, don't be too pretend. In today's part, we're gonna be opening up fidgets from Nicole Jacqueline. You guys know that I love Nicole, and because of fidgets and creating content, we have become real actual friends and all because of these awesome little tools and toys that we both love. She sent this to me well, kind of a little bit ago. You guys know how bad I am about opening mail. And I wanted to open it here on camera with you guys and do kind of like a three part series. So yesterday I posted the package from Fur and Mao and tomorrow I'll be doing a mystery pack from Mrs. Bench. So three videos, three days in a row, three different companies you all need to be ordering from. So let's see together what is in here. She never disappoints. I love all the fidgets that she picks out. We're just gonna reach on in and start seeing. So this is a donut poppet. I love the colors of it. In yesterday's video, everything was these really pretty pastels and neons for spring, and it looks like this one might be the same. Do not worry, I will be testing all of these out for you. Very good, it's kind of like a soft shell poppet. Oh my gosh, it even has little sprinkles on it. I love it. This is so freaking cute. I do not have a donut in my collection. So now we're gonna pull out Peppa Pig. <laughs> my boys love Peppa Pig and that little British accent. I don't really watch the show. I'm more of a Bluey fan. Let me know down in the comments. Are you team Bluey or team Peppa? They are both cute little shows though. And I think this is adorable. Look at the little snoot. It has a really good pop. And again, it is a soft shell pop it. Like it's like more flexible, thinner, but it still has such a great noise to it. All right, we also have this little elephant. I was watching one of Nicole's TikToks, actually this one right here, and I saw that she had these elephants and I was about to go and get one, but I am so glad that she sent me this one and it's got these cute little tiny little pops right here that are so good. So this one feels a lot like thicker. So this is like a harder shell poppet compared to these two. So let me know down in the comments. Do you like these like thinner poppets or do you like these thicker poppets? And then they have even thicker ones that are like these that are almost like dimple shells. So the different styles of poppets are like endless. This guy is a little caterpillar. I've had him before. He is so cute. I love the little shape. These would be great as like a little teacher gift if you got them like a gift certificate and like one of these so they could have one of these in the classroom. Maybe that's what I'll give AJ's teacher for an end of the school year like gift, like a Target or a Starbucks gift card because who doesn't want a Target and Starbucks and like a little poppet like this so she could have it in the classroom for her or for her students. We also got this little frog poppet. Wait a minute. I didn't see this. It's a little crown. What is, it is so windy outside that the whole building is making funny noises. So if you hear noises in the background, I'm so, so sorry. I'm in a commercial building, the playroom, and it is very loud and very windy. But look how cute, and now my phone is ringing. Oh my gosh. What is this day, y'all? So this little froggy has a crown, which is so cute. I wanna update our fidget table and add a lot more like fidgets to it. I think this guy would be so adorable with his like big green, oh, your crown, sir. I did not put it on all the way. With his big eyes it would be perfect. Ooh, oh my gosh, yes, look at this. It is a, an Easter dimple. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Look at the pattern, look at the colors. I am going to do an Easter fidget collection video, kind of like I did with my Christmas and my Halloween. So make sure you guys are subscribed to see that. And we're gonna have to add this to that collection. Oh, I love this. I have so many Easter fidgets now, guys. I cannot wait to share that with you. And I am so excited to add this one to the collection. Oh, the enable. I love the enables, but this one has like different size DNAs than I'm used to. This is so pretty, so satisfying. I got a DNA ball in the previous video as well. So you guys definitely know my faves, but I see something in here. 
that I am very excited about. It's a super large DNA ball. I had one of these and it popped. So sad. I haven't cut it open yet. I am saving that for a, another video where I like combined all of my um, fidgets. But oh my gosh. <gasps> this is even better than the other one because the other one was filled with like, you know, ball pit balls, how they're like the hollow plastic balls. And this one is filled with like actual DNAs. This is perfect. It is absolutely what you want when you get an extra large DNA ball because these are actual DNAs. This is incredible. The sensation is perfect and I love it. But let me know guys, do you prefer the extra large one with the really big DNAs or the regular size with the little bitty DNAs? Either way, you cannot go wrong here. Got a couple more fidgets in here and then obviously she sent me slime, so do not worry. We're gonna dig into those as well. This one is, ooh, so it's, Whoa, I'm gonna hypnotize you guys. You are getting very sleepy. You will subscribe and like, and also comment. Did it work? Let me know. <laughs> this is so satisfying. It's got the little pops. Oh, these are like deep pops too. Like, look how like, can you see how like big these pops are? Crispy too, she crispy. Oh, it's so pretty, all those bright colors. I love this. It's a little bit big for my hand, so it's like getting caught like on the inside portion of my hand. So I don't know if it'll work for little hands uh, as far as like the spinning aspect goes, but for adults or people with like larger hands, this thing is awesome. All right, we also have, ooh, an Orby ball, but the colors of this are gorgeous. It's like pinks and purples, my favorite colors. Obviously, that is so love. I swear, I am getting so distracted by that noise. Okay, back to the fidgets. This is great. I love an Orby ball. I mean, listen to the difference. Which do you prefer? Ooh, I usually prefer DNAs, but this one is just so satisfying. I love it. It's hard to pick. It's really hard to pick. All right, here is the last stress ball fidget in here. Ooh, and it is a pineapple with glitter in it. It's kind of like a splat ball. Like it feels like that very thin skin and it's got very like much liquid only inside. Very satisfying, always makes me a little nervous, but I love the glitter, look. Ooh, so pretty. So those are all the fidgets. Now let's get into the slime. She sent one, two, three, four, five, six slimes, all different ones. So we are going to squish them, touch them, smell them, and I'm gonna let you know exactly how I feel about these. Oh my gosh, guys, I missed one. I missed this little guy. It is a piece of candy dimple. Very, very cute. And I'm so sorry, I almost missed you. I'm so, so sorry. So let's start with, ooh, strawberries and cream cheesecake. This is one of my favorite slimes that she makes because it smells so good. Ooh, and then I'm getting better at this thing. Yeah, yeah, see? Stretch and fling, stretch and fling. It smells just like strawberries. It is so satisfying. I think this is like a cloud dough maybe, but it's got little like tiny strawberries in it. So it's got like a really cool extra texture. I should do like a slime party here. Maybe like we make our own slimes. I don't know, that sounds really messy. And it makes your hands smell good too. But as you can see, there's nothing left on my hands. So this is a great slime. So now let's try Elmo's peanut butter cup. It smells like peanuts. Like peanut butter, it smells so good. And then you can see a little Elmo on there. Let's see if this texture is the same. I think this texture is the same. Again, even though my bestie makes slime, I am not into the slime like lingo. I just don't like what feels cool, what smells cool. But this one I think is the exact same texture as that one, maybe like the cloud. To be fair though, like cloud's the only type of slime word I know, but look how good I am at that. Feels amazing, leaving no residue on my hands. She makes perfect slime. Now let's look at frozen pink lemonade. <gasps> okay, this looks different. This, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So this one feels more like a, um, like a, gl like not gluey because it's sticky, but like, like a, like a, what is the word? How do you guys describe these slimes? It's more like bouncy, not as cloud-like, maybe more, I want to say like, gluey, but hear it. 
Oh, let me know down in the comments, guys. What is this kind of slime called? It's not like a crunchy slime because it doesn't have like a lot of crunch. Those are just like little bubbles popping. I'm so bad at this, but you can see how it like pulls apart different. It's kind of like a harder slime. I don't know, guys. I keep like talking in circles and I'm not describing this very good. All I know is it smells great. It's super satisfying. And as a parent, it's not making a mess. So it is a double thumbs up from me. Okay, now we're gonna try Barbie. Let's see what Barbie smells like. It smells like, it smells sweet. Again, I am so bad at the descriptions. This one is a little bit stickier, so it is getting on my hands a little bit more, but is able to like pick it up. This one's kind of more like a putty, where like if you keep it moving, it feels different than if you let it go. I don't know. I'm really bad at describing these, but this one is a little bit stickier, but I'm able to get it all off pretty easily. As you can see, there is nothing left on my hands. It was sticking to me a little bit, but then as soon as you put it in there, it's gone. Mm. It's definitely shinier. Is shiny slime a thing? I'm not sure, but I really like it. Um, oh, Twinkie. I have played with this one before. The boy, oh, the big bubble. The boys have this one. And I think this one again is like a cloud dough. It needs to be mixed up a little bit. Let's mix you up. Let's mix you up. That's what I like about slime is you just mix it up a little bit. Cause again, I've had this box for a while. There we go, look at it. It's thinner, easier to move. It is sticky, but it's again, like the other one coming off pretty easily. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. This is the one you gotta practice with cause it's thinner, so it goes faster. It smells just like Twinkies. You can't eat these slimes guys, but I promise you're gonna want to. But don't, don't eat the slime. Okay, my hands are still not very messy at all. Um, as you can see, they are pretty clean. Maybe a little bit of slime here and there, but after playing with five different slimes, I think they're pretty clean. This one is Mickey's Donuts. This is one of my favorites that she makes. It's got little Mickey Mouse sprinkles in there. Oh, it smells so good, like a donut shop. Let's pull it out. Oh, these colors are gorgeous. And I love the way that the sprinkles feel. So satisfying. Oh, I love it. This is nice. I feel like I want to make enough slime to just like lay in. I feel like then it'd get in your hair. So maybe not a great idea. This is really cool though. I love her slime and it's always good to get extras. I'm gonna bring these home to share with the boys and they are going to be obsessed tonight. Make sure you are following me over on Instagram and TikTok to see kind of the behind the scenes videos. I give the boys the slime. I'll let them see the uh, poppets and they're going to love this. All right guys, that is everything that was in this box. You can see I got quite a bit of a mess behind me. That was so much fun to unbox all of those. Thank you, Nicole, so much for all of these amazing, amazing, amazing fidgets and slime. I love you. I love you. I love you. Make sure you guys head over to shopnicolejacqueline.com. I will link it in the description. You guys have got to get these slimes. They are incredible. Let me know down in the comments, which was your favorite slime and which was your favorite fidget. I would have to say my favorite fidget was the extra large DNA ball because this is everything I've ever wanted an extra large DNA ball to be. It is perfect. If you guys like this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, I'd love it if you would subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And my hands are really not that messy, but as always, wash your hands. Bye guys.